Okay, uh, another algebraic technique. We're going to try to plug in zeros. So I'll take the zero, I'll plug it in. 2 times 0 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1. Minus 1, I get 0 on the top. I plug 0 in on the bottom, I get 0 on the bottom. I can't directly substitute. And you can, you can do that in your head. You don't have to like show the first direct substitution. If I could direct substitution, I would. I can't, so now I've got to go through something else. So, you've learned your whole life that you can't have radicals on the top or on the bottom of a, of a fraction. You have to rationalize the denominator. This method is called rationalize the numerator. So, I'm going to take the top and I'm going to move the radical from the top and I'm going to move it to the bottom. So, I'm going to take the limit. And I'm going to take the limit as x goes to 0 of root 2x plus 1 minus 1 over x. And I'm going to multiply by what Mr. Mueller calls a clever 1. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the top. This is a binomial. This is the first term minus the second term. The conjugate is the same two terms. So it's root 2x plus 1 and a 1. The same two terms with a different sign in, uh, in the middle. I'll put a plus there. And I'm doing that on the top and on the bottom, 2x plus 1 plus 1. That's called the conjugate. When you multiply by the conjugate, it's going to change the thing enough that you can use direct substitution. So uh, let's do that. We'll find the limit as x goes to 0. Binomials, I have to FOIL. So I'm going to take this thing right here with this top right here, and I'm going to FOIL these two out right here. So I go root 2x plus 1 times root 2x plus 1 is 2x plus 1. Root 2x plus 1 times 1 is root 2x plus 1. Root 2x plus 1 times negative 1 is minus root 2x plus 1. And negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Looks a little different than most FOIL problems that you've had before, I know, but that's, that's the process. This whole term times this whole term all over, and the bottom we just leave unsimplified. 2x plus 1 plus 1, and I need parentheses around that. The bottom is this term times that term, and I get to there. Okay, what do you see on top that goes away? Two in the middle two terms. Middle two terms? What else? You can what? What about the... Minus 1 plus The one. 1's go away, and I get 2x all over x root 2x plus 1 plus 1. I get to there. What else goes away? Something else. The x's. Look at that. I have an x on top after I've done all that simplification. I have an x on bottom, so those two go away. And I'm left with the limit as x goes to 0 of 2 over root 2x plus 1 plus 1. I got all the way to there. All of that whacking, all of that wipes out, wipes out, wipes out, wipes out, x's wipe out. All of that allows you to use direct substitution with the zero. I should be able to take the zero and plug it in and get an answer out. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the zero, I'm going to plug it into the x. 2 all over. Uh, well, if I plug the zero in here, I get root 1 left over. 2 over 1 plus 1 is 1. The limit as x goes to 0 is 1. Let's try another one of these. It's called rationalize the numerator. I try to take the 0. I try to plug it in directly. I get 0 plus not root 9 is, is root 9, which is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0 on the top. I take the 0, I plug it in, I get 0 on the bottom. Okay, oh, yeah, that doesn't work. i got to do something with it. So I'm going to rationalize the numerator. Um... So here we go. Let's find the limit as x goes to 0 of root x plus 9 minus 3 all over x. Can you pick the multiplier? Anybody in here? Can anybody in here pick the multiplier that I'm going to have? Yes? Um, radical x plus 9 plus 3. Plus 3, yep. Radical x plus 9 plus 3. And what I'm expecting to happen, I'm going to FOIL. I'm expecting a whole bunch of stuff to cancel out, and after that cancellation, I'll be able to uh, use direct substitution. 
So let's try it. We'll find the limit as x goes to 0 of root x plus 9 times root x plus 9. We'll FOIL these two. I'm thinking about this as a binomial and this as a binomial. So root x plus 9 times root x plus 9 is x plus 9. 3 root x plus 9 minus 3 root x plus 9. You probably don't even have to write them down. You want to just whack them out. And 3 and 3 is minus 9. All over x times root x plus 9 plus 3. All right, let's get rid of everything that we can. we got to get rid of them in the right order, but we should be able to get rid of a lot. I see these two go away. The nine. I see those two go away. And in essence, I'll have x all over that. After I've wiped all of those out, I could write it on another line, but I'll have x over that, which wipes out the x's. Now be careful. What's left over on the top? One. A lot of people will get rid of it and, and will get the wrong answer. But I'll have root x plus 9 plus 3. Now that I got it into this form, I should be able to use direct substitution and plug the 0 directly in. I will get 1 over, 0 goes in, I'll take root 9 plus 3. 1 over 3 plus 3 is 1 sixth. Um, the limit as x approaches 0 is 1 sixth. Stop it.